Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the October-November 2017 IGCSE ICT Paper 2. In the last couple of videos, um, we have um, looked at um, um, data manipulation, rather. So we ended with step number, let me just see. Um, Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, so we ended with step number 21, I think, 22 or so. And we're supposed to start looking at step number 23, okay, so which is producing um, a report. All right, so let's go ahead and um, um, just uh, start with step number 23. So step 23 says, using fields from both tables produce a report that, one, contains a field a new field called total cost, which is calculated at runtime and displayed as currency. And this field will calculate the total cruise cost for multiplying the duration, or rather by multiplying the duration by the daily cost. Okay. So um, the report will also select only those records where the destination is in the Caribbean and the duration is eight or more and adults only is no. Okay. And then it shows only the fields, um, sale date, vessel name, embark, destination, cruise line, um, duration, daily cost, and total cost in this order um, with data and labels um, displayed in full. Okay. So it's supposed to sort the duration in ascending order of, um, in ascending order, then ascending order also of sale date. And it should have um, a page orientation of landscape and it should fit on a single page white and it should include the heading Caribbean first voyages at the top of the page and should calculate the uh, average duration and display this as an integer below the duration column and it should have um, um, a label to the left of this number and the label should be average nights okay so the last part should be that it should have your name center number and card number at the bottom of the report okay so, um, like I always say, guys, when you tackle this question, you can split it into two parts or two sections. One section would be to um, to use a query um, to extract the information that you need. Okay, so the query will be um, will be used to get only the um, the information that meets a certain criteria. And we've been told that the criteria is actually this one here and this one here also um, um, should be part of that one to include a new field. The rest of the stuff can be done in the report and this is going to be very easy. So um, let's go ahead and create a report, uh, rather a query which can extract the information um, given here, okay? And then um, we'll then create a report which can um, do this stuff uh, below there, okay? So go ahead and open your Microsoft Access. I was already working on this paper last night, so um, um, we can just pick it up from there. Okay, so here we're going to create a, um, a query wizard. Um, just go for simple query. And um, now you're picking the tables, or rather you're picking the fields um, from two tables. So let's go back to the question paper. So, um, I prefer that you start working with this part first, okay, so that the fields can be arranged in the order and then come and do maybe this part and then do this part, okay. Always, um, I find it easy rather to start with this part, which um, the fields have to be in a particular order, okay, because this is the order of the fields that have been given to you. All right, so let's go ahead and um, do just that. Um, so, we come here and let's start to select the field. So from the cruises table, what we are picking up is um, the sale date, then we have the vessel name and embark and destination. So sale date, okay, so sale date, then you've got um, vessel name, I think, and this is verify, vessel name, then embark destination, um, embark then destination, then you've got, um, Cruise line and duration, okay. So cruise line will be found in this one, um, in um, liners. So cruise line, and then let's go to back to cruises, and then you have um, um, duration. I think 
okay so duration and daily cost duration daily cost and um then you have got um total cost which is a, a, a field that is calculated at runtime. time so for this one you don't need to um you don't need to um to include it here okay so let's go next and go next and then modify the query and finish it okay so this is your query now you notice that there will be a field called um there will be a field called um total cost which is calculated runtime and that field is supposed to be um typed in so look at the criteria for the field so the criteria is that um, this is supposed to be obtained by multiplying the duration by the daily cost okay so so the field name is supposed to be total cost so total cost we'll put it right at the end because it's the uh, last one so we say total cost let me see if this capital letter there um so yeah so it's total cost the put full colon and then now square brackets to indicate that you're accessing um you're accessing a field multiplied by the daily cost daily cost okay like that okay and click away and that should be it so you can go ahead right now and test it to see if it is working notice that total cost has now been there which is a product of the duration and the cost okay so we can pick up maybe a simple number to multiply so that we test this um is there a simple number here we can multiply okay i don't know if there's a simple number we can use to multiply so that we check if this is working uh probably seven by um by 90 which is of course um 63 and 21 yeah so that would be 632.1 that should be correct okay so this formula is working out perfectly and um, just select this and make that okay so the next thing that we are supposed to do is to um select now only this criteria so first of all let's start with destination is in the caribbean so if you go back to the table notice that the destination has got western caribbean trans panama canal the southern caribbean and um there is um western caribbean bahamas um i don't know something else um southern caribbean and uh, stuff like that okay so um eastern caribbean um i think most of the um the words contain caribbean okay so you're going to use um a wildcard to um to perform this uh, search criteria notice that caribbean is actually coming after um after a word like for example southern eastern western and stuff like that i was trying to scroll down to see if um caribbean will be found before um any other word okay so there you go so you've got caribbean and mexico so um you need to be very careful when you use your wildcat here um that you need to take note that some text is coming starting as caribbean and other text is ending as caribbean your wildcat is going to include uh, the asterisk sign which is going to be uh, before Caribbean and after Caribbean. Okay, so go ahead, um, go back to the query. Uh, let, uh, let me just open this in design view. Okay, and destination, you're supposed to say, um, it's supposed to be just type asterisk and Caribbean. I don't know Caribbean if it's double arrow or, okay, let's just check the spelling for Car Caribbean. Okay okay yes one error okay so that should be fine so this is the search criteria notice how access automatically adds like and the quotes in there so um that saves you a lot of time if you just type it like that run it and you should see now that you have got everything to do with caribbean listed there okay the next one is supposed to be when the duration is eight or more which is uh, greater or equal to eight Okay, so we can go ahead and check, uh, go to design view and check the duration is supposed to be greater or equal to eight. Go ahead and test this to see if it's running. Notice that the minimum value you should have is eight and the highest possible value you should have is, uh, well, I don't know the highest possible value, but we know that it should start from eight going up there. Okay, so next we should have only adults, 
where it's um, adults only is no. And if you come back to your um, your um, your query, you notice that you do not have adults field selected already. So go ahead and add adult at the end there. So adults is this one, and access automatically adds the table where it's coming from. And um, um, you are supposed to use the criteria here. It's supposed to be no. But you must take note, um, first of all, let's run it and notice that adults is not this site. But when you go back here, you must notice in the question um, in the question paper that adults is not among the fields that should be displayed okay, or that should be shown. So we need to eliminate the show for adult only there. OK, and run it and you should have your um, your Excel sheet um, working perfectly like that. OK, so. Um, I think we are done working with the query. Okay, so this part is done. And that's the beauty about working with, query, uh, working with queries. It's as easy as that. And the next part now is to, um, to perform, um, or to write the report now, produce the report and um, do the printout at the end. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is to import um, the, um, the, is to import the, um, the, the query. So let me just see how much time I've spent on this video. I don't want these videos to be very long. So I'm going to cut this video here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you shortly in the next video when we do um, the report, the actual report. Okay, so see you.